Hi everyone, Nigel Saunders here. The winter weather has returned once again. It's getting really, really cold outside, which is good because I can keep my greenhouse here very cool. Today, I'm going to be working on my donated lemon tree. I've been working on this tree for quite a few years now, reducing it from this giant bush down to something that looks like a miniature tree, and I'm still in that process. I last pruned this tree in June of last summer, and since then it had some scale insects on it, and they dropped that kind of honeydew, and I got that kind of black sooty mold on the leaves. But it, it's easily cleaned off, and I was in the process of doing that, and I ran out of time. I moved the tree indoors for the winter, so it's been sitting down in the basement, kind of... Uh, the leaves are half covered in that black sooty mold. However... I'm going to defoliate the tree, prune it back, get it ready for spring. So I don't need to clean the leaves anyway. I'm just going to prune them all off and see how the tree reacts. Here's a look at some of the leaves that have that sooty mold on it. So if I get a rag and you can just clean it off, you just wipe, wipe the leaf down like that and you can clean it off. And if you use soap and water, it gets them even cleaner. Yeah, so you can clean the leaves off quite easily. But again, I'm going to be defoliating the tree, so I won't have to worry about that. After I'm done all the pruning today, I'm going to spray the whole tree with soap and water. And it should be good for spring. This lemon tree has a beautifully developed trunk and root base. I'm still working on the primary structure of the tree, but that's coming along quite nicely. It's grown quite large, and today I'm going to prune it back. I found that citrus trees respond really well to hard pruning. You hard prune an older branch, and then you get a multitude of new branches coming just behind the cut point. They respond quite well to hard pruning, so that's what I'm going to be doing today. I want to see the structure of the tree really clearly before I start the pruning. That's the reason I'm defoliating the tree. And the other reason is I'm going to prune it back fairly hard to make it more compact. So most of the leaves, I would say probably 80% of the leaves would be pruned off anyway. So I'm just going to defoliate it. Uh, you don't have to defoliate the trees before you prune them. You can leave the leaves on and they'll do quite fine. But in this case, I'm going to defoliate it. Because the outside temperature has cooled off quite a bit, the greenhouse here was like one degree above freezing this morning when I came out. So I turned the heaters on because I knew I'd be making a video out here with my lemon tree. And it's used to about uh, six to ten degrees in the basement. So I wanted to kind of match that so it doesn't uh, cool down too much. All right, I'm going to begin the defoliation of the tree now. So I will just prune off the leaves, leaving a little bit of the petiole behind. Oh, it smells nice. Oh, it smells even better than the orange tree. It has that nice lemony scent. So this tree is being kept dormant all winter, so it should have lots of energy for spring to push out a good flush of growth. It'll be quite exciting in spring seeing all these shoots develop after this hard pruning. You have to be careful of the thorns on these lemon trees. They're very sharp. I'm not sure how much it's going to storm today. Uh, there was freezing rain warnings, uh, blowing snow warnings. So I'm glad I'm not traveling today. The snow just started about an hour ago and 
It's coming down fairly good outside. It'll certainly cover the ground with snow. I can tell the tree is ready to bud out because at a lot of the branch tips you can see the bud at the base of the leaf is starting to extend just a little bit. I'll show you a close-up of it so you can see what that looks like. Right here at the branch tip you can see see the little bud right here so I cut the leaf off and you can see the petiole there and behind it is the start of a bud so if I didn't prune this tree you know all the extension would be out at the end of the uh, branch tips so I want to cut it back so my growth comes closer to the trunk line so I can make the tree more compact getting taper and movement to all the branches and trunk you'll also notice on citrus trees at the base of each leaf is a thorn. So not only is there a thorn, a leaf, but there's also a dormant bud. So if you have a bare branch that just has the thorns on it, you know at the base of each thorn is a dormant bud that can activate and grow into a branch if you prune it back. That is one of the reasons I don't remove the thorns on my trees is it's uh, it's like a placeholder where a leaf used to be also makes it very deadly to prune <laughs> you have to be careful you don't rush pruning or leaf pruning these trees you got to be careful you notice my hand is all scratched up and that's not from trees thorns uh, that's from the cats. I'm always playing with the cats and you know they get their claws out and scratch you and, but it's, it's, it's all part of the fun. Sure is fun playing with those kittens I can tell you that. I'm getting down to the last few leaves here and then the tree will be defoliated. Three leaves to go. Three, two, one. Okay, the tree is defoliated. With the tree defoliated, I'm going to step back now, have a look at the structure of the tree, and see what needs correction. Here is a look at the tree. I'll spin it around so you can see it from all angles. So this is the current front. Coming around to the right hand side, coming around to the back, the left hand side, and back to the front. I'm stepping back now looking at the branch structure and the first thing that strikes me is there's a straight section right here that kind of bothers me. It's too long and straight with no movement and no taper in that section and it's absolutely vertical and I think it kind of spoils the tree. I do like the top of branch like the the branch on top here it comes forward which is nice and has a nice kind of spreading canopy there but that straight section kind of bothers me I'm wondering, you know, if can I prune it back hard? Maybe, maybe. I do like the, you know, the branch on the left-hand side here looks awesome. I think that's developing nicely. I think the lower right-hand branch here looks really good. There's one kind of coming out front, which isn't bad either. It kind of brings a branch forward. You don't want flat fronts on your trees. And it's not like right in your face. It's kind of being redirected as an eye poker branch to the side. I think it looks quite natural. It's got good movement and taper to it. But above that point, it's starting to look very stiff with those straight sections. So I think some pruning's in order. That is also, the, you know, the most vigorous part of the tree is this apex here. So I can prune that back a lot harder than these side branches. So I've got to decide where I'm going to prune that. Um, if I'm looking at the balance of the tree, 
I would say, you know, this branch is a little offset to the right, or the trunk line. So I need to bring it to the left. So maybe, you know, pruning it off to here. <sighs> Big step. I do like this branch coming out top here though. I could prune that off short. But, you know, I'll always have that straight section there. Hmm. Tough decision. This is just starting to get some bark on it, some tan bark. Well, let me think about it. I'll try and come up with a plan of where I'll prune this upper part of the tree. I'm just rotating the tree to see if there's another view that kind of looks better as a front. Getting away from that uh, kind of straight section a bit more, but I don't know if there is. You can see I've got like a section here and a little shorter here and then a little shorter here. So it would be nice to prune it off right here. It would be really, really good. I think I'm going to have to do that. I, I just, because this is vertical and then this is vertical, adds to a very, you know, from this point up on the trunk, it's just perfectly straight. And if I look below that, it's not. It's got some subtle movement to it. So I just, I couldn't live with having this vertical straight section in the tree. It just bothers me, especially seeing it without leaves. And this is the first time I've seen it without leaves for a long time. Or maybe ever. I don't think I've ever defoliated this tree. And yeah, it really bothers me. So getting that basic winter silhouette structure without leaves on is really important to me. So I'm going to have to fix that. I, I think a cut here is the only solution. And then I'll see what happens. I may get some more branching coming out from this part of the trunk. If not, I'll develop branches coming off of here. See, even if I prune it up higher, this is still too high. It's too long of a straight section. So I just can't, I can't live with that. It's it just, it bothers me too much. The other possibility is take that right off. But then, you know, I've got no, I don't have a, vertical part of the trunk in the middle. It's all kind of makes a very flat tree. And I don't think that would look right for a lemon tree, maybe an acacia or something, but not a lemon tree. I think it needs a bit more of a, um, a broom style or a bright style. Yeah. So yeah, I can't see any other solution other than cutting it here. So here I go. All right, here I go. I'm going to use the ratcheting pruners because this is very tough wood. I'm going to come in on the angle. So maybe kind of like here. Leaving just a little bit of a stub, not much. Okay, here I go. Big, big cut coming up. Here I go. Gone. Now, let me step back and see how it looks. Here's what the tree looks like after that cut. And you can see it did solve the problem. You know, it still has a bit of a vertical section here, but it's not, it doesn't bother me. I think that'll look quite nice as the apex fills in a bit more. Now I will cut the upper branches back. They're kind of, you know, very long without movement or taper. So they need to be cut back to you know, as short as possible to create new growth in spring. All right, here I go pruning them. I can see a, a leaf scar here, one here, so I could prune it back quite short. Um, and I will, I'm going to prune it back. Uh, I think, I think to here. I'm leaving a bit, I'm hoping this bud on the top develops and that'll be my new leader. This one here, this branch, um, let me just change glasses, to my close-up glasses. So this branch here, I have a leaf node here, one way back here. 
Um, I kind of want this branch to grow in between these other two. So I'm looking for something on the back side here. So maybe right, uh, right back. I'm going to prune it back to here. I think I see a bud right here that could come out the back. I'm hoping. I'm also going to clean up this stub here from where I pruned it last time. Like that. And then the one coming out the back, I'm going to prune a short to here. I'll lose some ramification, but I'll gain compactness. Like that. So it should grow out in this area here. Should look quite nice. Okay, so that kind of takes care of the apex of the tree. You can see there was a big cut on the front here. That'll have to heal. Next, I'm going to do this branch on the left-hand side here. Um, you can see it divides here, and the one branch goes up, and the other one's more of a horizontal branch. It looked good when I had the higher canopy. It, it looked kind of nice, this one reaching up. So I'm looking for movement and taper. I can definitely prune this branch back. I can prune this one back. Now, that brings me to this division. So I have this horizontal branch, and then I have one that reaches upwards. But now you can see these branches are higher than the center apex of the tree, which doesn't look so good. So I think I'm going to prune them off and then kind of grow the whole tree slowly larger. So off comes this branch. Uh, come in here. Like that. And then the part that comes out the back is kind of getting tall too. I'm looking for buds. I can prune this one back here. And this one back to here. Like it's that more compact. So this whole branch is now much more compact. This one over here, I can definitely cut that back. I don't Again, I, I don't think I want the part that reaches up, so I'll take that right off. Like that, keeping that branch a little flatter. And then I've got a branch out the back. I think it just needs pruning back. You can see all the times I've pruned it. I pruned it once here, twice, three times, four times, five. So it's had quite a bit of pruning. I'll prune this one to here and this one to here. Like that. I think that's got that pruned up. And I think that's got the tree pruned up. So the only really hard pruning I did was to the apex and maybe that branch there. You can see my two cut points there. I'm going to seal my two larger cuts with my rubber cement. So here I go. Like that and the other one right here. I don't know if there's any other big cuts on the tree. I might as well do the one here. It's just a little cut, but I think that's it then. I'll just put a bit of rubber cement on this dead wood here. Might stop a bug boring in its way in there or something. Maybe protect the tree just a little more. I don't know. And I'll put some on this pruning scar in here too, just to kind of protect that and make sure there's no insects bore in there. And that should be it. The tree is sealed up nicely. Here is a look at what I pruned off the tree today. All those branches, some fairly thick ones. Let's fly in now and have a look at the tree. My last operation on this tree today is to spray it down with soap and water 
make sure there's no scale insects on it. So I will spray it down with soap and water, give it a good inspection. I can see there's a scale insect right there. I can scrape off. Yeah, just give it a really good look over. Make sure there's no scale insects on it. And then I can put it back in the basement for the rest of the winter. So here I go with the spraying of the soap and water. I'll just get my toothbrush out and just kind of brush some of that black sooty mold off the trunk and inspect it for scale insects. I could see one there. It's all looking good. Check this branch over. I do like these citrus trees as bonsai. I think I love the texture and the color of the bark, the stripes on them. And they get really nice buttress roots when they get older. And if you get them to flower, the scent of the flowers is just heavenly. So I haven't had this one flower, but I'm sure it will if I were to leave it alone and not prune it for spring. I'm always pruning it, so Someday my goal is to get the tree in nice shape, like get the basic structure down, and then in spring just let it grow and flower and get fruit. And just, you know, and then it'll probably grow out of shape and then I'll have to prune it back. So, you know, maybe every second or third year you can let it fruit and flower once it gets mature. And the rest of the years you're kind of trying to get the growth back in check because you have to let them grow to flower. Yeah, all is looking good on the tree. I didn't see any, any other scale insects on it. Just those little ones on that one branch and they look like they were dried up. They didn't even look like they were alive anymore. So I'll give it one more spray with soap and water. Let it sit for a bit and then I'll rinse it off. All right, here I go with the rinse. So the tree is draining, or the water is draining really well in the soil, so it doesn't need repotting this year. Yeah, it's flowing through the soil really, really well. So it can go another year before I repot easily. Okay, so that is rinsed off. I think this is going to make a really nice bonsai in the future. I, uh, I think it's got a great looking trunk and a, a nice basic structure to it. I'm looking forward to spring, seeing how it shoots out. New branches, leaves, it should be kind of cool to watch. Some big changes for my lemon tree today defoliating it, pruning it back. It'll be really interesting to see how it branches and leafs out in spring. I have uh, some other lemon trees that I won't be defoliating so I can kind of compare the two techniques and see if there's any difference or how the trees react to two different treatments. So that is all for today. I'm Nigel Saunders. Thanks for joining me in the Bonsai Zone.